Hi, my name is Yasmina Diaz, and in this video, we're going to introduce you to Sony's PC MSU software. This software brings efficiency for broadcasters, OBVine companies, and improves workflows for engineers. Today we are in TC1 at BBC Studio Works in West London with freelance operator Daryl Badwell, who regularly uses this software on shows here. Hi, I'm Daryl Bywell. I'm a freelance vision supervisor controller. I've worked in the industry for 25 years. I'm now going to show you PCMSU, which is a fantastic camera system management software for the global control of a camera network system, including save and recall. This is the main page of System Manage, and this is live data from all nine cameras in this instance. And to prove, if I adjust the RCP, the RCP f-stop changes, and this is instant control that's now available to be viewed across the entire System Manage page. A really good feature is the compare function. So in this instance, I've put 10 uh, saturation on camera three, all the other cameras are all set at zero. If I now press compare, the system shows that camera three is highlighted in yellow, and this is now showing that there's a, a difference against the nine cameras. This is a really good feature, particularly on uh, productions with a lot of cameras. Uh, there's a file management function. The scene file can be loaded from the camera by pressing this tab. The system will then load the 32 scene files from the camera. These can then be viewed across this bar here, so from 1 to 32. And all the parameters that are available in the camera are now viewable. Another great feature is snap file. This is very useful where the camera settings can be loaded and once the settings have been loaded into the system they can then be saved to the desktop. Then at a later date the files can be then reopened and then saved back to camera. This is very useful if the cameras have been on another production and the show has then come back into the studio. This system is also great for engineers. Within the system diagnosis tab, the camera head type can be viewed, the firmware that's running, the status of the engineering mic or the production mic, the board status, the BPU type and the firmware that's running, and the CCU and the firmware that's running on that. If this was in a studio that didn't have PCMSU, in order to gather this data would require the engineer visiting nine cameras, nine BPUs and nine CCUs in order to get this information. This obviously saves a huge amount of time. Another great feature is the cable condition. This shows uh, the 4300, camera head to BPU and then BPU to CCU and in the instance of camera 6 this is a 2500 which just shows one optical level. Uh, obviously with this scenario uh, the optical condition is superb between all cameras 1 to 9. The last feature I'm going to show is RCP assignment. This is particularly useful with multiple vision operators that the cameras can be then selected between different panels. So in this example, RCP1 could be camera 5, RCP2 could be camera 6, RCP3 could be 7 and RCP4 could be camera 8. I hope this gives a good overview of PCMSU and the great features and benefits this software can bring to production.